All right, I want to show you guys our new studio. Look at this. This is the new studio, the new home of Mad English TV. Hopefully for a very long time. And uh, hopefully I can make hundreds, if not thousands, of English lessons here in my studio, the English Garden. What do you think? Do you like it? I designed it myself. And, you know, I'm, uh, I really don't know what I'm doing when it comes to designing things, building things. But I, I painted this. Okay, so first I painted this wall here. And then I built, <laughs> I built this window. I painted that. And then I built this desk, actually. Look at that. Me. I built a desk. Isn't that crazy? It sort of uh, feels a bit strange because I'm not a handyman type person. You know, I, I rarely paint things. I've painted very few things in my life. I've built very few things. I've never built uh, a desk or a table before, but uh, I just went down to Home Depot and I bought, I bought some wood and I just built it. Now, the reason I built uh, a table instead of just buying a desk from, from somewhere is because, see where the TV is and where I sit. Okay, so I've got my chair here. Let me just push my chair back over here. Okay, so the idea is I'm going to be sitting in, uh, in my chair here, right? And if this were like a normal desk, then... Well, then the TV would be here and I would have to, you know, sort of sort of lean over like that to see it. That was sort of a, a bit of a problem in my my last studio, you know, where I was sort of I was always leaning over. Whereas right now the TV is sort of behind me. It's right there. So, you know, I can, you know, if I'm teaching some boring grammar lesson. Hopefully I don't make too many boring videos here in my studio. But, you know, if I'm interacting with my TV, I can, uh, you know, I can reach things. I can see it and then look back. My camera is going to be there. I'm just recording this on my iPhone just up there. But I'm going to have my camera set up there. Um, yeah, so, so this is, uh, I made a video a few days ago, the English garden showing what it's going to sort of look like. Um, now, the reason I don't want to make videos in here yet is because everything smells like paint really strong smell of paint and it sort of hurts my lungs to breathe in all these paint fumes you know like I said I'm not an expert with these kinds of things so you know I I don't know how to choose good paint it's like like uh, scent free paint toxin free paint I think I picked the worst the most toxic paint I could have picked. So that was a big mistake. I should have, I should have done more research on uh, different kinds of paint, paint that, you know, wouldn't, because it sort of hurts when I breathe, to be honest, when I'm in here for like 20 minutes or half an hour setting things up, it's, uh, yeah, I can feel it on my lungs, all the, all the toxins. So I should have done a bit more research into, uh, like different <laughs> different kinds of paints. Like I said, I don't know anything about that. But anyway, I'm very proud of this studio. I hope you like it. Uh, let me know what kinds of videos would you like to see made here in the English Garden. Maybe you want some boring grammar videos or some, I don't know. Let me know whatever you want down there in the comments. But I just wanted to show, you know, I just wanted to show you guys the studio just... Yeah, give give you a look into what it is. So that's the background there. I love this sort of teal color. So this color, you can describe that. I think the best way to describe that would be uh, would be like teal. Maybe it's it's, not, it's a bit lighter than teal. It's almost more. It's maybe it's turquoise. Maybe turquoise is a better way to describe. It depends on probably on the camera. I'm not sure what it looks like now on this camera. Um, because, you know, one of the things with cameras is you can adjust the white balance. You know, have you, have, you ever, have you ever taken out your phone and pointed it at something and the color on the phone is not, it's, it doesn't match the real life color. Okay, well, that's, that's a, a problem with the camera's white balance. A camera 
sort of tries to decide what the best what the best color or the most accurate colors are and uh, and sometimes they get it wrong so my iPhone right now I don't know it might be getting it wrong but uh, but when I set up my camera in I don't know maybe a few weeks let the studio air out a little bit all the paint fumes out and then I'll start uh, making videos in here uh, but but yeah that's the, sort of that issue with the white balance so this color is um, maybe the best way would be uh, to describe it would be turquoise. <laughs> okay, and uh, this is my gray desk, my laptop here, and I bought a nice microphone. So this is a good quality microphone. You know, one of the things that uh, YouTubers struggle with is, is trying to get good audio. If you've ever tried to, to start to set up a studio like this, you're going to encounter problems. And... Uh, Audio has always been, it's just a challenge. It's a challenge to get good audio. So this microphone, hopefully it's great. Hopefully, hopefully you don't hear too many planes flying over. You know, I don't think that's going to be a problem here. I hope, I hope it's not going to be a problem with this, um, with this microphone. I think it's going to be really good quality. Um, yeah, what else can I say? Um, Another thing about setting up a studio in the past, I've had problems, is once you add some lights, then you get reflections on the TV. You know, you set it up, you think it's going to look all nice, and then you see some some reflections. Maybe a light is reflecting. Your... So right here, I have lights set up in a way that I hope is going to be a really going to deliver a good picture on the, on the TV so you can see the lesson clearly, right? That's the most important. This is not, I'm just a secondary <laughs> component to my studio. Really, this is the most important. You can learn English, see examples. You know, that's that's one of the reasons why I called my channel Mad English TV. What's the TV? Well, the TV is uh, is because I wanted to use a TV. That, that was one thing that I, I thought, you know, that would be really great if I could use examples like like connect my laptop to the TV and show examples because in all the other English channels you know sometimes people use a whiteboard or a blackboard with chalk or something and those example that that, that way is it's just not ideal because you can't really show pictures you can't uh, you know you, it's it's hard you have to write out the words and the sentences and then maybe teach some stuff and then erase it and make a part two Say, okay, guys, I'll, I'm just going to erase this. I'll be back for part two. Then you write more stuff. And whereas this, this way is much easier. I just create the lesson on my laptop, put it over here, and uh, go through it. So that's, that's one of the reasons why I called my channel Mad English TV, because I wanted to use a TV. So here's the English garden. Here's my TV. Here are some plants. They might be real or they might be fake. I... Uh, I won't tell you. I'll let you decide for yourself if they're real or fake. And I love these flowers. A nice purple color. Nice against the sort of, what, what color would this window be? Amber. I think the best uh, color for this window, yeah, I think it would be uh, just to describe it as like, uh, not really orange, not really yellow. Amber. I think amber would be, yeah. So I don't know what kind of flowers are these. Lilacs. They like remember on uh, the trip across Canada, our epic trip. There were all those nice purple lavender lilacs or whatever. Those well, these ones are hanging. I don't know if these are lavender. I don't know anything about plants. So tell me down there in the comments what kind of flowers these are. But I think it just looks great against the window here. Actually, I wasn't even planning to to buy these. These weren't part of the original studio. But when I was shopping online for these vines, um, I saw these. And I was like, oh, wow, that would be nice hanging in front of the window, you know. So I, I picked these up and uh, set up this thing here for hanging this and for hanging my light bulb, <laughs> this light bulb here over the TV. So that's uh, that's my studio. Welcome here. I uh, hope you guys like it. I'm very proud of this place. This is our studio. It's not just my studio because... Uh, takes takes two to tango right that's what we say in english it takes two to tango i'm the teacher you're the student and sometimes you guys are the teacher and i'm you guys teach me so much stuff down in the comments you know i've learned 
I've learned so much about different countries, uh, languages. Sometimes you guys teach me idioms from your language or different vocabulary or different different facts or different things about your country. So thank you guys so much. It's not it's not just me teaching you. It's it's you teaching me too. So it's a two way relationship here. So I just want to say thank you, and I want to dedicate this new studio to us together, not just me. So welcome here, guys. Thank you so much for your all your support, for sticking with me everywhere I go around the world or across Canada or whatever. But right now, I'm so thankful to have this studio right here. Hopefully, I can make a lot of videos here after uh, the paint smell goes out. Hopefully, the weather, it's been cold. It's been snowing here the past few days, so I haven't really been able to to open the window but uh but yeah after in the next few weeks i'm going to try to let it air out and uh, then start hitting the videos hard so thank you guys so much have a great day wherever you are and uh, once again welcome here to the english garden <laughs>